Part 14. We are going to continue with transformation geometry and we are going to focus on rotation. You will find this on page 247 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Rotation. A rotation changes the position of a figure by turning it about a fixed point called the center of rotation. This is very, very important. Anticlockwise, anticlockwise rotation is positive. It's, it's just like that. It's fixed. Whereby clockwise rotation is negative. So anticlockwise rotation is positive. If it's going to this side, it's positive rotation. Okay, and if it's going to this side, it's clockwise rotation is negative. Students usually think clockwise is positive, but that's not correct. In mathematics, clockwise is a negative rotation and anticlockwise is a positive rotation. Okay, draw the rotation of plane figures. Let's look at example 16. Plot and label the points. Rotate triangle ABC through negative 90, that means clockwise, about the origin O. Okay. Now, an easy way for me to help students is always to do the following. Take tracing paper, which is a thin paper, and put it on the sketch and copy the following. Copy the center. So, copy the center. Copy the triangle and the A, the B, and the C. So, copy the figure and then also indicate a north arrow. So, an arrow facing north. Okay. So this is what you copy on the tracing paper. Now, put a pencil point on the center of rotation and turn the tracing paper through 90 degrees clockwise. The north arrow faces east. So basically, you're going to move this on this figure and you're going to keep your pen or pencil there and you're going to start moving the tracing paper. Until the tracing paper, and in this case it's negative, so it's going to move to this side. So until the tracing paper is approximately there, then what you're going to do is you can just then take a sharp thing, you can take your compass or you can take your pen and just mark that, just go through the tracing paper with that points. And then you remove the tracing paper and you just connect your figure. So make the image on the original block paper. Or as soon as you have this position, then it's easy to draw the image of the rotation. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do the following examples. Try now 16. Number A. As well as number B. You can stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, I'm going to try to do it on this system, although it's a bit more difficult than having a pen, a, 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 a written book and a tracing paper and things like that. Okay, but first we're going to enlarge this a little bit so that you can see. Okay. So copy each of the following and draw the image of the figure all after the stated rotation about the marked point. So this is 90 degrees about point P. Now remember, positive 90 means anticlockwise. Okay, now just for my sake, I'm going to do it in the following way. So first, take your tracing paper, put it on this and copy the center, copy the figure and remember to make an arrow facing north. Okay, but just for my explanation, I'm going to try to do it like this. Okay, so basically, on that tracing paper, and can I just show you here? I'm just going to move this. See if this moves. So on the tracing paper, which is going to be on this figure now, you're going to have the center, the figure, and remember your arrow facing north. Okay, now as I said, with my system, I'm just going to do it a little bit different. So remember, 90 degree clockwise means that you're going to turn this, turn this 
until you have 90 degrees there. Exactly. Okay, so basically, it's going to be on this figure like this. Now, unfortunately, my figure cannot shine through. Okay, but as soon as I actually have this position, which you can now uh, just mark your point, then it's easy because then I can basically just go and see that my position will be, uh, um, it's called, it's going to be this. Oh, let's just pull it a little bit up. So it's going to be this and it's going to be, okay, then it's three blocks up. So the position is, oh, sorry. Okay, my pen is a little bit not so nice. Okay, but now I can just draw my figure. Okay, and then it's, let's just move this. Okay, as I said, oh, this last one, I can think I can do it a bit. As I said, it's a bit more difficult with my um, technology, but this is the way if you if you use tracing paper, this is going to be the easiest way to mark your image after the rotation. Okay, now let's do number B. So we're just going to close this one down. Okay, so number B, do exactly the same. Take, put your tracing paper, copy the center, copy the figure, mark arrow facing north. So then it's easy to see when you turn to 180 degrees. And then put your pen or pencil on M and start turning until the arrow will face south. Okay, but just for explanation's sake, and as I said, I'm just using the technology. I'm going to do it like this. Okay, so basically you copied that, you marked your arrow. But now I'm going to rotate it. Maybe I can do it here. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. Okay, so basically after you rotate it well, then take your pen or pencil and just go through, through that point, through that point. And then you can just mark your point. Now, as I said, um, I'm not having that technology. No, or it's a bit more difficult with the technology. So I'm just going to, it's going to be up to there. And then it's going to be up to there. And then it's going to be up to there. And then combining that. Okay. And this is how your tr figure is going to look after a rotation of 180 degrees. Okay, okay, let's go on. Now, if I say finding the center of rotation. Now, this is just for enrichment. So basically, they are going to do it like this. They are going to give you the original figure, and they're going to give you the image, and what they're going to ask you is to find the center of rotation. Now, this is not usually asked a lot of times, but if it's asked, it's, it's really not that difficult. And again, I'm going to see if I can use my, I just want you, okay, I'm going to go first through the example, just show it to you. So basically, this was your two original figures. So identify the same points. Now, what does it mean? It means that this point is the same as this point. Okay, so basically, I'm going to draw the perpendicular bisector between, can you still remember? So it's like making your arc, your arc, and draw the perpendicular bisector. Okay. I think in this case, it's going to be that one. That is the perpendicular bisector. Then ma mark other two points, and again, draw with your arcs the perpendicular bisector. And where the two lines, the two perpendicular bisectors intersect, that's the center of rotation. Okay. I want you to copy this figure, and I want you to try it with this one. 
you can stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, I'm going to try to use my technology to see if I can do this one. Okay. Now, first identify the same points. Now, you can see that this, this one is the same as this one. Okay, now take your technology and take your... Okay, application. So let's take, take the compass. We're just going to need a compass. Okay. Now I hope we, we our picture is big enough that we can use this. Okay. So basically, we're just going to put it on that point. Oh, I hope. Oh, and I don't think it's going to become... Let's just see if we, we enlarge it still. Otherwise, we have to redraw the figure. Okay, um, we can try it for one sec. But I think as soon as we enlarge it, then the compass is just also going bigger. And it's just not going to fit there. Okay, but, but let's try to do it. Let's just reduce it. And I can show you how to copy figures. Okay, I'm just going to do this, and I'm just going to bring a grid here. Okay, close this down. Okay, so if I copy that figure, I can copy it like this. So let's start here. Um, then it's going to be 2 and 1. So it's going to be 2 and 1. And then same, 2 and 1. And then it's going to be two down. And it's just going to connect to this one. Okay, this is how I copy it. Now, if I want to copy it and I want to see, now what I usually do is I do it like this. I just I take one point. So count one, two, three, four, and one. Okay, so let's do it. Four and one. Okay, so let's, let's start. So one, two, three, four. Four and one. So there it's going to start there. And then um, I can do it now, do it like this. It's two and three. So it's two up, it's going to be up to here. Can you see that? So basically I can already draw that line. Okay. And then, and in look again, it's two down and one. So two down and one. I can first mark this point. Okay. And then, I hope my compass is going to work now. Okay. And then it's going to be also 2 and 1. It's going to be up to there. Can you see? Um, okay, it's actually 1 and 2. And now I can just connect these points. Okay. And I hope that my compass is going to work now. I think so. I'm just going to take another color now. Okay. So basically, I identify the same point. So if I identify, I can say this point is the same as this point. And I'm going to just draw a perpendicular bisector there. So put it on that. Um, make it more than a half, but not too big. Can you see? There's the point. It's more than a half. Okay. And now I'm, I'm going to try not to draw too many lines. Otherwise, it can be confusing with all the lines. Okay, and then can you remember, we were moving it to this point. Okay, I'm not going to draw the line because otherwise there's too many lines. Okay, and then, oh, and can you see what's happening? It's not cutting. It's not a problem. We will come back. Let's see. Oh, luckily it's cutting there. Can you remember what did we do if it were not cutting? We were going back. And we were going back. And then we were just moving this one. Okay. Okay. And then the perpendicular bisector, let's just, let's just um, connect it now. I think I'm going to do it with even another color, just for explanation's sake. So it's going to be from there to there. That's the perpendicular bisector. Now identify another two points. Now, I think in this case, 
it's easy to identify these two points. Um, and we can just make it green. Um, this one and this one. Can you see it's the same? So basically just take, and because it's 90, it's actually going to be very easy. But let's just, let's just get it there. Okay, can you see there's the point? Let's see if it's more than a half. Let's just first move it. I think we can stretch it still a little bit. Okay, and then we go up and make your arc. I think sometimes it's a bit better if we make it a little bit longer. Although it's not always guaranteed. Okay, then go to this one. Oh, and now um, I have to, can you see it? Okay, let's just see. Um, yo, I have to really come back. Okay, it's all right. Can you see there? Okay, let's just go up. Oh, almost, but not really. There. Okay, just go back again. Just go back. It's not such a big problem. Okay, then move this, and I'll just cut, cut, cut. Can you see? Okay, and move it, move it, and just extend it. Oh, and now you have to really keep track. Go back to this one, and move it. Can you see? It's cutting there. So if I take my blue line, let's see if I have my, it was. Uh, and, and you can see, because that's a horizontal, that perpendicular line will be a vertical one. And where is the two lines intersecting? Can you see? The two lines, and I'm just going to make a cross, the two lines intersect there. And that will be your center. So this was the center of the rotation.